What's up guys? Given the feedback on my last video, it seems like you really want to see some Xcode tutorials, so I thought I should just start off with a basics video showing you the basics of Xcode, which is the program you use to write the code for all the iPhone or iPod Touch or Mac apps that you could possibly want. Um, so Xcode is available for free from the Mac App Store, um, so you can just download it there. It's totally free, just use your iTunes account to sign in. And this will give you Xcode 4, which is an upgraded version from Xcode 3. If, you've ex if you still have Xcode 3, I really suggest updating. Um, it'll make the following these tutorials way easier, and it'll also make your experience on Xcode way easier. So I, can ha I ha really highly recommend that. So when you first open Xcode, you should get something like this. So create a new Xcode project. Um, this will basically give you a list of templates to choose from when you make your first app. So like a tab bar app, um, OpenGL game, Unity, or just empty. Um, I really suggest starting off with single view application that just sets it up the easiest for most applications. So just go next. Um, I'm going to call this Xcode Basics. I hit next. Choose a place to save and create. So now I have this application created and it basically sets up everything for you to start off with it just makes it really really easy and you, it already has like a view and view controller set up for you which is important later on um, if you don't have these interfaces on the side click on these view options change them I usually have all of them on this is used for debugging later on um, so just keep those on for now so on the left you'll see all the files associated with your app if you go to show and finder it'll show you there too so these are basically all the files that have to do with your app and basically it just everything set up from the start so if you go build and run this will basically run your program in the iPhone simulator so it'll say build succeeded and it should pop up in a second here there it is wait oh it needs to install the app and then it runs it and all you're gonna see is a blank application with nothing on it. So here you have the basic files. The .h files are the header files. .m is implementation files. Um, don't worry about that yet. So first we're going to go into the viewcontroller.xib. These xib files are the interface files. This is where you design your interface. Um, you can do this all from the other files from the viewcontroller.h and .m but it's just ten times easier to do it with this. So basically to start off this app we're just going to add a label and let's just say two buttons to add some function functionality later on. Um, right now, if we build and run this, the buttons and label will appear, but they won't actually do anything when we press them. So we're going to make them actually do something so that they're not just useless sitting there. Um, okay, so now we're going to go into the .h file first. Um, go here, open bracket, hit enter twice. Um, it'll already automatically add a closed bracket and the, at the end of that, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, in order to assign a name to one of to the label in the .xib file, once we assign a name to it, we can actually modify it easily, or we can act from the from, we can modify it directly from the code, so we can make changes to it. Um, so basically, go back into the .h. So IB outlet, the label is now going to mean outlet in interface builder. Um, so go to UI label because it's a label and then you can add a name for it which we're gonna we're just gonna call label you can call it whatever you want though um, then we're gonna add an action IB action and we're gonna to do um, basically you can delete this ID sender part for now you don't have to worry about that uh, we're gonna say say hello and then we're gonna do the same thing but say goodbye and so now we're gonna have two actions and an IB outlet now if you go back into the dot XIB file you can right click on files owner or you can just click on files owner and go to the connections tab you'll have the label you can attach that to the label and then in the received actions you have say goodbye you can do touch up inside and then say hello now the difference between these is the input of when the action actually happens touchdown is if you just touch the button in any way, it'll automatically do the action. Touch up inside is what's used for most buttons on the App Store. 
you need to put, touch the button and then the action will only happen once you let go. So that's just the style for most buttons on the App Store. Some apps do it differently, but that's just really the basic thing. Um, so go, go ahead and save that. Now the actions are connected to the button, so when we push the buttons, it knows to go to this action, to the say goodbye action, but we haven't actually programmed the say goodbye action to do anything. So you can go back into the .h, you can copy the two actions, because we need to implement them. Now you'll see the .m file. The .m file is where you actually make the buttons do something. So just set it up like me with the two brackets, two open brackets. Um, basically one of the things with uh, programming in general really spacing doesn't matter so you can do something like this you can put this down here it doesn't matter where it is as long as all the all the setup is right and the brackets are right and the semicolons at the end of each line are correct um, for future reference view did load that changes the um, that changes something before the app loads so before the user actually sees something you can put your actions in here so that when the app loads everything you want to get done will be done before the user actually sees it so that's just a tip for later um, it's really useful later on if you program your own thing um, so here we're gonna say label dot text is equal to at quotes we're gonna say um, hello world and then we're going to add a semicolon at the end and then you can just copy this line to down here and you can say goodbye world and so that's what we're going to change the text to on our XIV file or on, on the actual app when we run it so if you hit build and run now um, now the buttons will actually do something and we can actually get some results so goodbye world and hello world so the two buttons actually do something and they change the properties of the label you can also change them from interspace builder and say something like hi um, but this will only change it for when the app starts um, but the buttons will still change it later on so that's just like a balance between x pro between what interface builder can do and what um, the actual code can do so interface builder it just designs the interface and the .h and .m files actually change what the interface is showing and can add functionality to an app basically so that's the most important things um, basically in the first part of Xcode here we have the, another important file the Xcode basics dash info dot plist file this can be used to change um, a lot of things uh, like th this is generally applies to the entire app as a whole so like the bundle display name this will appear under the app in um, the on the iPhone so right now it's Xcode basics we can make this say hello and if you save that file and then we hit run it'll actually change the name that appears under it and here we can assign so if you exit out it now says hello and you can also change a bunch of the other important things like the icon files, the required um, capabilities, the interface orientations. That's usually what I worry about those things. Um, so that is pretty much it for the most important parts of Xcode. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments or just message me or email me or whatever with any questions you have. More videos are to come. Um, I will be in... Disney World in the next week, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use YouTube's automatic uploading thing, scheduled uploads, to see if that works for two more tutorials later this week, so that you guys still get a video. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for now. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and that's pretty much it. See you guys. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.